What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metro Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, I'm going to talk about the game Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, which was released on the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PSP, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, and DS by uh, Activision and stuff. And it was later ported onto the PlayStation 4, PC, and Xbox One. And this game is pretty much a sequel to the first. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance game, a game that I reviewed a few months ago, and pretty much uh, the plot of the game is that um, Nick uh, Fury pretty much led a team consisting of Iron Man, Captain America, Wolverine, and Spider-Man on an unsanctioned um, attack on, uh, on Castle Doom in Moldavia after he found out that Lucia von Bardas, who was Lafaria's uh, prime minister, was supplying um, weapons to um, the Tinkerer, who was supplying them to the supervillains and stuff like that. So that's, that's why that, that happened and everything. And Lucia von Bardas wasn't, uh, wasn't too happy about this unsanctioned attack, so she went and pretty much had attacked, um, put an attack on New York City and stuff. Now, it is worth noting that a lot of the, um, Marvel superheroes that was in Marvel Ultimate Alliance do return in this game. For the ones I mentioned already, Captain America, Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Iron Man, do you have others like, um, Thor, you know, Fantastic Four, and the and the like who return, but there's some who didn't return, like um, Ghost Rider, Spider Woman, and Doctor Strange. However, you have like characters like Venom, Juggernaut, and uh, Magneto, who are playable characters and everything. Now, uh, like when you um, start the game, you you either start on the easy difficulty or the normal and like after you beat it you can play it on hard and you unlock that particular difficulty and everything and um plus you're asked if you want to um upgrade the characters uh manually or automatically it really don't even matter at, at that point i suggest pretty much i guess most people do it um, automatically and stuff like that like in the um, like in the first Marvel Ultimate Alliance game, this game is pretty much an action RPG game where every character that's playable can level up and everything. Plus, um, the Marvel Ancient Shield logo is used as a, a go-to as a save point and allows you to um change the um available team members you know what i'm saying you can use like fantastic four or you can use like spider-man venom um wolverine and um say magneto so it really you know, it's like pretty much it's up to you who you want to use you know what i'm saying in particular uh, missions and stuff like that plus another thing is that like the first one ultimate alliance that once, once you meet up with a particular Marvel character, you're able to um, unlock them and use them in, from that point on and everything. Whether it's like Thor, Venom, Magneto, Juggernaut, and whatever the case may be. And um, pretty much um, once a particular Marvel character is, is put out of commission, you can't um, replace them. And, and I, I'll be honest enough to, to say that part of it uh, sucks, you know what I'm saying? I wish you could um, um, replace the ones who was taken out of action with somebody else, which would make it easier to to complete a particular mission and everything. And um, you can um, find different things like um, fusion charges in the game which allows you to use uh, different types of fusion attacks and pretty much the type of fusion attacks that you do depends on um which uh, marvel character um your your um 
plain ass or um, plus not only that you can um go point to the um the uh Marvel character closest to you to um actually execute it in a type of um type of fusion tech is based on which um uh, which two Marvel characters will actually link up when the um fusion attacks actually um actually happen and stuff like that. And um yeah, I say it's best for somebody to use the fusion attack against a boss or a particular spot in the game at where it's really hardest where you uh, facing off and get like a whole bunch of enemies and stuff like that. Plus, you can pretty much get a boost um, throughout the course of the game and stuff like that. And um, pretty much um, boosts are put in, into the following categories. Melee, power, defense, and special. And when in each melee, when they're selected, pretty much help you during the gameplay. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, with the War, war of Veterans, um, the War... Which is a pretty much a melee boost. It will um increase your melee damage by five percent. You know what I'm saying? Which would which would come in handy for those tough fights and everything. And like you, you get other ones like the medal of marksmanship, which sound like a um medal you would get in um in a like a Call of Duty game or something like that. Then there's the ripping of position, precision with the courageous ground metal and stuff like that. Now, when you pause the menu, when you pause the game, you get like a particular menu, like the um, which consists of like the uh, hero details, options, players, um, boost, and a quick game. Now, quick game is self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? No need to get into that aspect of it. But with um. Um, here with details, you'll see the four Marvel characters that you're using during gameplay, and you will see their stats. And the first group of stats that you will see will be consistent of like striking, body, focus, and teamwork, with a number right beside it. Now, the numbers besides those stats will vary from character to character, you know what I'm saying, from Thor to uh, Mr. Fantastic and stuff like that, and um, pretty much when you press the button for detail, you'll view the power that each character is using. You know what I'm saying? And um, pretty much you can also view like the description of the attack, the um current rank if available, and the next rank if that's available. Now, one thing about it is that each character has uh two or three abilities. Which are not upgraded at all and everything, and, and you want to like pay attention to uh, what those abilities are when when you're using the uh, four Marvel characters and stuff like that. And then the options you can view pretty much the button configuration, along with um, turning the volume and sound effects um, up or down, along with turning on and off. The damage, um, camera shake, and stuff like that. Plus, it's, um, it has things like um, AI, auto spin, illumination, stuff like that. Then, as far as the player section of it, it just shows the name of the people um, who's currently playing the game, whether it's a single player or multiplayer, stuff like that. Worth noting that the um, second, third, and fourth slot can be removed and everything within that but it makes sense for the first player not name not to be removed because you gonna need it for the single player at least you know and plus you can pretty much view the boost that you collected throughout the course from the course of the game and stuff like that and you'll see which um metal is pretty much active at the time you know what i'm saying one thing about the boost you can switch them up based on Based on where you are in the game, stuff like that. Plus, with the low on um, game, you you normally pick up where you left off, like like you would in any other game. But one thing I, that I noticed that if you delete a profile, the low game will remain um, 
if you uh, make a, when you make a new profile and stuff like that and everything. And um, plus, when you complete a mission, you get a grade like between an A and an F, and you they will include like um, destruction, um, number of enemies knocked out, and um, pretty much uh, number of stuff that you collected there. Consider take all that into consideration as far as your grade is concerned. You can pretty much you used to submit all that in um. Nintendo Wi-Fi leadership board, you know, saying this, this, uh, they took it, took the um, online play off. You can't do it no more. Stuff like that. You could, I, I don't know whether or not you can still send your score to your uh, friends on the brag part of it, you know. Plus, there's um, this game has two endings to it, which are. Consider the um, good and bad ending. The good ending is called the pro registration uh, ending, while the bad uh, ending is the anti uh, registration ending. With the um, pro registration ending, the Congress amends um, the Superhero Registration Act in the game, while in the anti ending registration act, they repeal it. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how you perform throughout the course of the game and stuff like that. Now the graphics and the design for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 are pretty good and the color palette has this um dark tone to it that is that is pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Now the controls and gameplay I do like it and everything and I do like the fact that the um, fusing attacks are a nice touch to uh, the game, you know what I'm saying, based on the fact that you were able to um, link up two different Marvel characters to do it like you can uh, link up um, Venom with Magneto or Mr. Fantastic with um, say Thor and stuff like that. So that that is that was a pretty good um, thing to add, you know. And the soundtrack is, is excellent and it's just pretty consistent with what I've seen with um, other games based off of Marvel uh, superhero stuff, whether it's Spider-Man, Thor, or whatever the case. Now, the only gripe that, that comes to mind is um, the fact that some of the cutscenes do pretty much interrupt the flow of the gameplay, but it's not really worth harping over and everything. But in any, in any right, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 is a pretty good game and a good sequel to Marvel. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and I would um, recommend it to anybody who is a fan of Marvel um, video games and stuff like that. And with that being said, uh, for our score, I definitely give it an eight out of ten. It's pretty pretty good, and it's worth us worth uh, checking out and everything. So with that being said, you can uh, if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and hit that bell notification button. And don't and don't forget to sound off in the comment section about um Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. You can also talk about the first Marvel Ultimate Alliance game, even the even Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 on, on the Switch if you want to talk about that. You know, this is your boy Big Metro Fan 12 signing off.